These are intelligent people. They don't want to be eating the junk food, but they don't understand what else to eat within their busy lives. And the things they can actually pick in the supermarkets, I can send them to a slightly different aisle and they don't realize the incredible food that exists. Do you have an epidemic of heart disease, type two diabetes, IBS? all of those things and yes there's different ages in the room but i know some of you are quite young as well and now is a great time to think about your health not later when it's going wrong those are your healthier foods that we all need to be getting more of they're going to uh, keep us more satiated make it easier to maintain a healthy weight they're going to feed our good gut bacteria they're going to help protect our cells there's all sorts of wonderful qualities in those foods so you don't actually have to be eating the processed food if you don't want to. Pretty much every family has their favorite curry recipe. Make it with chickpeas instead of chicken. You know, what makes a curry isn't the chicken, it's all those wonderful spices. So we just need to change up the protein that's in there and you've got a completely plant-based meal. If you want to eat whole foods, so whole grain, rice, fruits, vegetables, beans, you know, your frozen vegetables, frozen fruit are actually even cheaper than the fresh stuff sometimes. It can be really cost-effective. Do you have to think less about worrying about calories, worrying about portion control, because that food is gonna fill you up and fuel you and actually help you maintain a healthy weight and actually often a healthier relationship with food. When you eat healthily, it does show on the outside and it does give you lots of energy. I mean, I'm not bouncing off the walls every single day, but most <laughs> of the time, yes. And it is incredible what we can change with healthy eating. So hopefully it can inspire everyone to build in more of these foods. We should be focusing on the fruits, the vegetables, the grains, the beans, the lentils. Those are the foods that are going to help bring down blood pressure, for example, that can help prevent disease. And like I said, this is a message for the whole nation. And when we think of vegan food, or people think, should I go plant-based or vegan? Think about those whole foods, and you don't have to do it all the way 100%. It's about building in more of those plant-based whole foods for everyone to really help prevent disease and function better overall.